I always give away too much mm. It's like I've got no sense of touch Oh my goodness, it's free I'm always pouring out my good. heart No little by little here I'm always pushing things too far Two, five, six, ten drinks at the bar No boundaries, I get too close No little by little here Cause I give my all Nani Butters! Hi! How was your A little, I pour out my Hey, Life for Tribe. Happy Saturday and welcome to another weekly vlog, Living Life with Your Girl Stay. And if you're new to the channel, welcome, welcome, welcome. And please consider hitting that subscribe button and becoming a permanent part of the Life for Tribe. So y'all, it is Saturday. Today is election day. Wallace and I just left from voting. Please always make sure you exercise your right to vote even in these smaller elections. Our girl, Dr. Mia Hall, is up for re-election for the school board. The people are out here doing their thing for their candidates, representing. I love the dedication. I see Mia's team set up over here with a signs and passing out the information. So today is actual election day. We had early voting, but Wallace and I were out of town doing most of that time. Oh, there's Kendall right there. Kendall. Kendall. <laughs> oh, that is that Kendall? What's hey, going on, bro? How are you? Good, how are you? How long are you in town for before you go back to go back to DC? Hold on, he coming. What you say? How long are you in town for? Till tomorrow, I'll leave in the morning. Oh wow! Wallace just said he we said I gotta get, get a meeting with Kendall. Yes, yes, yes. Let me know. So I I'll because, be because here. I think it's workforce development and career development. So I'll be here the last week of uh, May, the full week. Okay, oh, I'm gonna okay. text you tonight or whatnot, oh. and let's set something up. Yeah, that last week though, I'll be here that full week. Okay. Oh, yeah. good, I'm about to get good. Crystal, Mia, and. Uh, who else we say? Kelly. Kelly. Okay. Kelly on you so we can get this thing set up. I'm going to get them to come no, tie gonna you do down. We're gonna get do the that aunties. Last week. We're going to do it that last week. Okay. 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 I'll text you last so week we get on I'm here that full week. Okay. okay. We're here that full week. week. I've been going to D.C. I'm in D.C. like Monday through Thursday and then I'm here Friday to Sunday. Okay. So, yeah. But that last week I'm here that full week. All right, bro. Okay. Yeah. Perfect. It was good seeing y'all. Good seeing you. All right. All right. All right. All right. All right. All right, so that's Kendall, who Wallace was just saying he needed to get a meeting with. Kendall is the, um, what does Kendall do? Campaign manager. The campaign manager extraordinaire. He is awesome. He has worked with a lot of our friends and done an excellent job. And so we want to get with Kendall for some workforce development and things like that. He because he, um, yeah, yeah, Jasmine and Crockett. Jasmine and Crockett. <laughs> I like Jasmine and Crockett. But yeah, so Kendall is an amazing young man out here doing that. I mean, Kendall's only 20 some years old. Yeah, he's super smart. Yeah, super smart, super intelligent, doing his thing, but it's hard to catch up with him because, like you said, he leaving tomorrow going back to D.C. But anyway, it's important to exercise your right to vote in the small elections, especially because they're the ones that are going to affect your everyday life the most like the people who are on the school board your city council people the uh local judges things like that that's who affects your day-to-day -day life now i'm not saying don't worry about congress and presidency and this all that important. but your day-to-day -day life the people who are taking care of your kids every day in the schools and advocating for your kids the people who are making sure that your potholes are getting fixed the people who are fighting to make sure that we have grocery stores Police. in the um underserved neighborhoods the people who are managing the police and all of that those are your small local elections so i'm gonna get off that soapbox but yeah that's what we just did we just voted and I just suggest that you all do the same where you are. And now we are headed to the airport because guess what y'all? Nunny Butters is home. He just landed. He landed early and we had to make sure. That's how important voting is to us. And y'all know how I am about my Nunny Butters, but I still had to stop and vote because the polls closed at seven. But we're headed to the airport now to go pick up Nunny Butters. I'm so excited. He's gonna be home for a little over a month. 
it was a huge surprise because we did not think that he was going to be able to come home at all this summer so i'm excited we're headed to the airport y'all so i will pick you back up when i pick my baby boy up <laughs> to be home? I'm tired. Yeah. Why are you tired? I've been up since like four. Oh, you didn't sleep on the flights? Oh. Your hair is very long. Appreciate it. <laughs> you appreciate it? That's what you want. Oh, you got a butterfly. Look. Oh, it left. So did you have to throw anything away? No. Oh, that's good. It seemed like the guy was kind of rude, but kind of helpful, too. Nanny better is this home, y'all. I'm so no, excited. No, for real. People are going to think you don't like your mama. Can you at least smile and act like you're excited to be home? Did you hug him? No, I didn't hug him. I was busy um, filming him. Yeah. <laughs> yeah people think you don't like him either. <laughs> <laughs> so we're home and I've made my Nutty Butters his favorite meal, which we call gravy train. So it's just ground beef with some peppers, onion, and brown gravy. And then we have some corn on the cob here and some plain old white sticky rice. So we'll put the gravy train mixture. <laughs> and I know y'all, gravy train, right? gravy train on top of the rice and it's going to be a good meal this is his favorite simple but sticks to your ribs and tasty do y'all use one of these to chop up your um, ground meat or ground turkey or whatever it is really really good to use got it on amazon it's in my amazon store so here you have it when it's all done I told y'all, simple but hearty and delicious. Our gravy train over rice, a yeast roll, and some corn. Nutty Butters is going to be so excited. This is his favorite, y'all. Let the weekend begin. Percent of precincts reporting. Yes. Dr. Mia Hall has 60%. <laughs> I love policy, I love serving my community, and I love Cali ISD. And we've made some promises, um, and I want to I want to make good on those promises, and I want to continue to steward um, our district into the future. And so I'm excited 
I am relieved. Um, and I'm just ready to start anew and do the work. So thank you all for celebrating. Yes, and thank you. Yes, thank you for letting this just be easy, letting me just be myself. And thank you for coming to Fellowship and for listening to me whine, <laughs> bitch and moan when I need it. <laughs> um, thank you for being encouraging. Um, just thank you for being a listening ear. And uh, thank you for the work because I know all of you pitched in in one way or another, whether it was financially, whether it was sweat equity. Um, but just thank you for your support your encouragement and for being here. So let's have a good time. Let's celebrate. Yeah, 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 yeah. Bad little flex, she wanna know me. I stay low key, I'll cast no breaks. Baby, let them hold sleep. Body on to make your girl OD. I get in my way, never out of my lane. Feel like you the one and I'm on one. So what it's gon' be, baby squad up We finna go deep, is you Riding on a team, got what you need Baby, won't you keep me company? Give me something to do when I get lonely I got something for you when we get home If you let me put it down, when I hit the town You should lie on me, keep your minds on me On try, baby, I think you should side with me Stay solid one time if you lie with me Just promise you never lie to me Keep the moves on tuck, I know what's all up Everything good, keep the vibes on crush I know it's all good Know it's all this morning getting everything ready for our Cinco de Mayo celebration with the family. We have our margarita adult drink boxes over here. We got our plates, our straws, utensils, our array of different chips. And check these out, y'all. I've never seen those these before. Old El Paso and their cinnamon twists, like the little churro type of deal. So we have those. Of course, you got to have your hint of lime chips. Then over here, we have our homemade queso going, which I need to turn that down. That was the first thing I made. And then our different meats. We got the seasoned ground beef, the seasoned chicken, and the seasoned steak. And of course, over here, your girl hooked us up, which your girl being me, with some street corn. So we are going to eat good today. I'm excited. It is 10 to 3. And the kids are supposed to be here at 3 o'clock. And I'm still looking crazy. So I need to get myself dressed. So I am going to go ahead and get dressed real quick. You know they're going to be late. The only one that's going to be on time is Nunny Butters because he already here. But the rest of them is going to be late. But I am going to go get dressed. But yeah, so I hope y'all enjoyed watching me make my margaritas and all that. And these little, these are a hit, I'm telling you. This has kind of been my signature 
for my last few gatherings and then whenever I'm invited to somebody's house, that's what I take. Speaking of being invited to somebody's house, y'all saw the clip. I was invited to my girl Mia's house last night, Dr. Mia Hall. She won the election. She is re-elected to the school board of trustees for Crowley ISD. Woo woo. Yes, yes, yes. And of course I had to take Mia a bottle of bubbly last night because it was celebratory. But yeah, so we hung out over there until after midnight, but had a good time. So congratulations, Dr. Mia Hall. So yeah, made sure I, I had to make sure I mentioned that. I almost forgot. But yeah, so I got my little flower arrangement over here that y'all saw me put together in the beginning of today. Wallace bought me some more flowers yesterday. So put that together, got the candle burning. So yeah, let me go ahead and get dressed so we can enjoy this Cinco de Mayo. And I have some Cinco de Mayo decorations I'm gonna throw out too, so y'all see that throughout the vlog. All right, I'll pick y'all up later. Okay, so is everyone having fun at Cinco de Mayo? Yes, hey! <laughs> Eating our tacos and our nachos. Notches. Notches. <laughs> oh yeah, we're gonna take some pictures. Are y'all laughing at me as usual? Oh my goodness. No one worries about if my feelings are hurt. You just make fun of me. I'm a party animal. You still partying, Tyler? Oh, you're done partying now? Oh, from earlier? Yeah. Yeah. You're done from earlier? <laughs> Quit yeah, I was like, Holly, we're partying. He was like, I am partying. Jacoby, are you partying? Of course. Okay, okay. Okay, okay, okay. we got moves. We got moves. Okay. All right, it's dessert time. So, what are we having for dessert, Pam? What are these? Yeah, she ain't gonna say it now. They're, they're beignets from PJs. Uh, beignets from PJs. They're actually really good. I enjoy them a lot. Thank you. What kind of sauce is it? This is white chocolate here. You're on my nerves. What? Her. Oh. Oh, she didn't want to say. Mm -mm. You know, once I turned the camera on, she stopped talking. Okay, so we have these are just still more beignets. Oh, there's a ton of them. Man. All right, and all of our various sauces. All right, that's dessert. So it's like a delay. He's waiting till so I, I show and so, he's doing it. So if you, excuse me, winter, winter, winter interview. <laughs> so if you, if you think about it, right? Like in life, I've been living for 22 years. And one thing that's always been true oh is really three things, right? Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? I get I'm, it. I'm gonna get buckets. You gonna pay taxes, and losers gonna have excuses. Okay. okay. And that just that just is what it is. You feel okay. me? So like you okay. see you Somebody, see how I like. Somebody's been on YouTube too long. Hold on. Hold on. So that just is what it is. You feel me? Uh -huh. He lost, so he had an excuse. Uh -huh. I won. Okay. I ain't really got much to say. I won. Okay. You feel me? I'm used okay. to winning. Okay. You know that's just what I do. I win a lot. Okay. He he obviously yeah. doesn't. Okay. Papa, what's your name? Papa, what did you do? Uh, Blair's grandfather. That's my job. May May, what do you do? Hey, hey May May is a blogger just like so Shuki Mama, so that's what I do. I'm gonna put you that's on. what I do. I'm like this better than what we had. Mommy, in what do you? Mommy, what do you? And it's white folks in there. I am an analyst. What's the analyst?
with mommy. I, I analyzed it. You remember when we came back to the world, I was talking about, I was calling hey, Sophia. What do you do? That's all I got. Did you say work. that too? I said, what do I do at work? He was asking me, what do you call it? I said, I don't Pay know. people. Pay people. Pay people. I give people money. Do you have mommy on the camera? Yes. Okay. Baby, what do you do? I'm a game banger. What's a game banger? Uh, we bang games sometimes. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just kidding. You gotta make sure you're I'm on the camera. I'm a nurse. You a nurse? Yes. And hey, 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 what do you do? Put the camera that way. <laughs> Y'all, look at these two planes. I don't know if y'all can see them, and I'm driving, but they are just flying right next to each other. So close. I don't know if they're preparing for an air show. I don't know if it's something military, but it is crazy scary looking to me. Dang, I think I missed them. I don't know. It's crazy. Do y'all know what it is? Can y'all see the planes? I can't see them anymore, <laughs> but I wanted to show you. Hey, y'all. Happy Tuesday. I am headed to Papado to meet my girl Ebony and we just need to catch up. But those planes were crazy. I was fumbling trying to get the camera on because I was not planning on filming on the way over here. But that was just weird to me because I've never seen anything like that before unless it was like military drills or an air show. And they didn't appear to be military planes. They weren't big planes, but I don't know. They were flying too close to comfort. So hopefully y'all were able to see them in the clip and see what I'm talking about. But yeah, it was just a little weird. But I know it is like that time of year, I think, for air shows and stuff. I don't know. But that stuff is scary. They were flying super, super close. But yeah, headed to Papado. I have not been to Papado in a minute to enjoy the happy hour. So that is something that Ebony and I both enjoy. And we've been here a couple of times together. And I have not seen her yet in 2024. So it is um, really good to have this opportunity to catch up. And that's why I tell y'all to be intentional about reaching out to your friends and just like, hey, you know, want to get together where you been, miss seeing your face, let's get together. And it doesn't have to be anything fancy. I got on my little Target short set. We just gonna sit here and eat. I had a couple of meetings today, so that's what I love about this short set. It's all jacked up because I'm in the car with my seatbelt. But you know, it's the collared shirt and it's that little satin material. So it looks super professional from the waist up, but I have on shorts and sandals because everything I did today so far was on Zoom. But yeah, headed into Papado. Don't really have a lot else going on today. Uh, Mr. Wallace is actually golfing right now. So he's having a pretty leisurely day as well. Him and his friend Vince are out on the golf course, but it is a beautiful day. I was surprised when I took Lux out this morning how warm it is outside, but this is my time of year, spring going into summer patio time a lot of my friends don't really like being outside on the patio Wallace really doesn't like it either when it's really hot but he will oblige me so yeah I'll pick y'all up later she wanna know me I stay low-key I'll cast no breaks baby let them hold sleep Body on to make your girl OD I get in my way, never out of my lane Feel like you the one and I'm on one So what it's gon' be? Baby squad up, we finna go deep Riding on a team, got what you need Baby, won't you keep me company? Give me something to do when I get lonely I got something for you when we get home If you let me put it down When I hit the town, you should ride on me Keep your minds on me on try, baby, I think you should side with me Stay solid one time if you lie with me Just promise you never lie to me Keep the moves on tuck, I know it's all love Everything good, keep the vibes on crush I know it's all good Know it's all love Hey y'all, happy Thursday. 
I got home not too long ago from a wonderful experience at Girls Inc. Once again, I'm sure y'all just saw the pictures and the clip. I was able to talk to them about 14 elements, which is a part of our ISALT um, umbrella teaching the 14 elements that the government states everyone needs to have in order to be workforce ready, job ready. And there are 10 young ladies at Girls Inc. who will be participating in our 14 elements online program. So today was the launch. So I got to explain that to them, do a presentation, chat with them a little bit, and they are absolutely amazing. Love, love, love working with Girls Inc. I had an earlier planning meeting today for Empower EQ, which is our nonprofit. So your girl been working. However, I had to come and brag on myself because even though I have been working all day, I still came home and made my husband a magnificent dinner. He's been hitting around and he wanted some smothered pork chops. So that's what I did today. Not the healthiest, but they look good, y'all. And I also did not only assorted pork chops, but I also did some fried, let me show y'all so you can see because everything looks the same, country ribs as well. If you have not had fried country ribs, go ahead and try it. I fried these outside in the deep fryer and then of course had to make him some gravy. So we got some brown gravy there and a pot of rice. And we are keeping it healthy and I made him some vegetables too. I did some roasted, I guess you would call it, in the air fryer. Uh, oh, it's piping hot too. Broccoli and cauliflower, hot, 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 hot. So we're about to eat dinner. It's a little early for us because you know the one meal a day. It's 4.51, but I have my Thirsty Thursday live today and we're going to be talking about how to achieve your goals. So y'all won't see this till Sunday, but if you are looking for some good strategies on how to really grab hold of your goals and make them work, then go back and look at Thursday's live. I was just watching uh, Almost Homesteading with Janet. I just had to put them on mute for a second. She has Renaissance Grandma on here so i'm gonna finish watching them while i eat my dinner and i will pick y'all up later hey life for tribe <laughs> happy saturday happy day before mother's day i'm not doing anything all i've done was work all week again who knows <laughs> what this vlog is gonna be like and it probably won't come out tomorrow because it's mother's day so i'll probably release it on Tuesday. And so, yeah, Wallace is out working in the front yard doing what he does, fixing the sprinkler system. He has music blasting, but let's go try to say hi real quick. Say hi to the people. How y'all doing? All right, that's all we can talk to you. You got your music blasting out here, DJ Wally Wall. Anyway, so yeah, that's my Jethro Bodine making sure that everything in the house is working at top notch. So yeah, I'm just sitting in here having a crime TV day. I'm going to do some work. Um, tomorrow I want to do a crawfish boil. It's, boil. it's supposed to rain and be kind of chilly tomorrow, but that's what I want to do. And y'all look at your girl's face. I got some kind of crazy cystic acne bump that I actually had to put. Lux, what are you barking for? You just saw that that was your papa outside. Cystic acne bump. I actually had to put a needle in it last night and drain it, and now it's kind of scabbed over. But it was so sore, um, I had to do something. But at least it's not sore anymore because it was very painful. And I don't get a lot of breakouts or pimples, but... It's probably something else that has to do with post-menopause. Who knows? But anyway, I'll pick y'all back up later. Lux is going crazy because he keeps saying Wallace's silhouette in the window. And he hasn't put two and two together yet that that's his papa out there. So yeah, I'll pick y'all up maybe later on today. I don't think I'm going to do much today, but definitely I'll pick y'all up tomorrow. So happy Saturday.
That's what they put in a big old box like this. Oh, yeah. I guess they were trying to keep it from smushing on the top. Oh, I'm so excited. Thank you, Chicago. Can you say right there? Yeah. Mother's Day, y'all. Yes, I threw on my same house lounge outfit today because my Mother's Day festivities as planned had to be canceled because look at it outside. Dark and dreary and raining. Not at all a good crawfish boiled day, which is fine. It happens. It's nature. It's okay. Pam and Jacoby came over yesterday with the tres leche cake. I told the other kids they don't even have to bother to come over today because I know the grandbabies aren't going to want to just be stuck in the house and all that, and I'm not doing anything special. But, of course, my Pooh Bear, Wallace Lee Hall, had to still do some things for me. So I got another beautiful bouquet of flowers today, and that's my grandmother right there, my mom my maternal grandmother but yeah here's my flowers let me turn on the light it's kind of dark in here and I still had this bouquet over here from last week my just because so I'm full of flowers and then of course he had to get me some of my favorite snacks and I told him, I'm like, I'm trying to do better starting tomorrow with my eating and he's like well this is just for emergency so he got me my Sour Patch Kids, I got lemon heads in the room, and then my Cheetos Puffs, which I love. I'm going to eat some of those now. And then, y'all, I got my Tabletop Outdoor Griddle. I am so excited about this. I am going to become a hibachi master. I cannot wait until he gets this set up for me outside. I am going to be out there making the little onion volcanoes and doing all the things frying some rice i'm probably gonna do an outdoor brunch i'm so excited if y'all have been watching me for a while last year this time i was bugging wallace to get me an out um outdoor griddle and he kept saying how many times are you going to use that babe what are you going to do with that you you don't need that and he got me one I, I, i'm so excited and he's like i hope that's okay for a mother's day gift because i know women don't like getting like vacuum cleaners and um cookware and stuff for gifts i'm like first of all i don't need a thing so i am just excited for anything you know what i mean it's not like there's really something i need and even though this is like cookware type of stuff it's nothing we need nothing i need is something that i just wanted so it's definitely a gift for me and i cannot wait to hibachi it up outside and i think i'm gonna set up outside once we get it because last year we did a backyard hibachi and we hired a private chef to come and do the whole thing. So I'm going to do my own little version of that with the family and do some steak and shrimp and all that. I am super excited. I'm going to do the sake and squirt it in people's mouths and throw the shrimp. I'm doing all the things. It might be a new business, so don't, don't, don't play with me. You never know. But yeah, Mother's Day is going great so far. Nunny Butters has been bugging me about what to get me because originally he was just going to um, take care of the crawfish for today. So I'm like, you can still just take care of the crawfish. We'll do it next week. And um, my son, Kylan, I was gonna have him take care of the fish fish because we were gonna fry fish. But I told him don't bother and don't even come over because he lives like 30 minutes or more from me and it is really raining and it's been storming. So yeah, we just chilling. Me, Wallace and Lux and Nunny Butters is at the mall right now. And he just called here asking Wallace how to spell my nickname. And I'm like, what is he doing? So he was like, I want to get you some knickknacks. Knick Look, y'all, moms don't want knickknacks. We got enough stuff. We just want to have a good time. <laughs> we want to be able to spend quality time, eat good, relax. We don't need not one more knickknack chokshki. <laughs> nothing, 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 nothing. We are good, but... 
he's not going for it so i don't know what he's gonna do but yeah i hope all of the mothers out there are having a great day today i know mother's day is going to be passed by the time you see this but whether you are a mother of your own biological children a bonus mom a god mom a mentor a surrogate mom if you pour into another individual um, who is a child or that you've known since a child, you are a mom. So I hope you're having a wonderful day and being celebrated. I am now in the room watching um, Fear Thy Neighbor, which I've been watching since last night, binge watching it. And I'm doing some writing for the new book. So it's a great day to me. I wish it was sunny and not raining because my vision was to have everybody over today um, because everybody's still in town and get in the pool and do the crawfish boil. But again, it's nature. We have no control over that. So you got to make it do what it do. So I am excited. I had my first piece of tres leche cake last night because I knew it was going to rain today. So I was like, well, I ain't got to wait till tomorrow. Um, I can have a piece tonight, but I'll sure I'll have a couple of more pieces today. I'm going all out today, just doing whatever I want to do. But tomorrow is a brand new day, a new mission, a new plan. It's going to be all right. So anyway, I think I'm going to go ahead and end the vlog here, y'all, simply because there's nothing else going on today and I've been vlogging for a full week. I know this week wasn't the most exciting, but that's what vlogging is all about, seeing real life. So... I am going to see y'all next time. I'll be going live tomorrow. I canceled my Sunday live because it's Mother's Day. And so that's, you know, like work, even though I am writing. But anyway, but I also didn't want anybody to feel obligated to jump on. I want y'all to enjoy your day. So I will be going live tomorrow, Monday, May 13th. And we're going to be talking about what it means to be a good mother. So that'll really be an interesting live. So hopefully you'll be able to go back and watch that once you watch this vlog or hopefully you were on the live. But anyway, y'all, I am just running my mouth. I've been talking to y'all for almost seven minutes, but I appreciate and love each and every one of you to bits and pieces. Thank you so much for being here and always tuning in. And if you're new to the channel, Hopefully you've decided to hit that subscribe button and become a permanent part of the life or tribe. And y'all know the drill. Always be kind and love one another, but don't forget to live your life. L-Y-F-E. Love yourself first explicitly. And I'll see y'all in the next one. Bye. I always give away too much. Mm. It's like I've got no sense of touch.